Hey friends, this is Prophet Fowler, and we call this Having Coffee with the Prophet. I want to deal with a, a question that I, I get a lot from uh, young budding prophets. And this question here is, uh, once they have, maybe they have received a prophecy from a prophet that God is calling them in the office of a prophet. And uh, also it probably been confirmed through dreams and visions. So the question is now, is what do I do now? And I always share with them, don't just go off running. One of the things you want to be very careful with uh, a lot of uh, young prophet, they develop a spirit of running. And you don't want to run right away because you want God to be able to use you. One of the things is I want you to begin to see and examine. If you're under, and I hear this a lot from a, a lot of the, the young prophets, well, my, pro my pastor is not a prophet. But I say this to you, if it's a good, strong teaching ministry, stay up under that until God move you. Don't just run and see God's face because there's a lot of ways. Now, you might be at a place right now. There's not a prophet speaking into your life because perhaps God wants to train you up and deal with you. And what happens a lot of times, as I see with a lot of young prophets, instead of taking time and learning and hearing the voice of God, uh, they go running to men, even running to other prophets. Now, you want to be you want to be at a place that you understand and recognize the voice of God. And if God calls you or tell you to go somewhere or to go over there where prophet so-and-so is, you know, nowadays we're living at the time, even if you're not under a uh, 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 prophet, but there's some good, strong teaching. That's one thing that won't, won't compromise. Has to be a charismatic church with some strong teaching that's going to teach you the things of the spirit where now you've got uh, you've got the internet, you've got all kinds of uh, YouTube and certain things where you can find certain teachers or or things from that point. And what you do, you pray that God will bring a teacher, a prophet. I have many teachers in my life prophetically that not just men that have set up under, but uh, prophets that have never met me, but I've read their books, uh, listened to. Now I'm going to tell you, go on to take it back a little bit. I listened to their tapes. So if there was a moral of the story, the moral story would be what? Don't run. Wait on God.